starting with a pencil you can use a ruler too and you're just going to draw a large crayon on this is foam core but you could use cardboard mat board something sturdy that's not going to easily bend Whenever you're doing circles or arches, it's always easier to lock your fingers and pivot your wrist. Now I'm just doing the straight edges. And then you will cut this out. Next, I did some block letters with the child's name. Make sure that each letter will be wide enough to hold the width of a crown. An old paintbrush works really well for this part. And have the child simply trace that block letter always reinforce you starting your letters at the top so when they go to write them they will know that each letter is started at the top and also you'll notice I did all capitals with this project it is the easiest to build the letters with these straight lines just continuing that for the last two letters. Of course, if you had a real long name, you would have to have a much longer piece of cardboard or foam board. I'm gonna show you a little trick to do the O's or anything that has a curve to it. So with the circles and curves, the smaller the pieces, the easier it is to create that circle or curve. Now this is not necessary, but I think it does make it more of a framed kind of piece. So you can also talk to the kids about top. You can talk to them about straight line. You can talk about left to right, sides, bottom, edge. So you have concept words you can work on as well and just let them pick out the colors they want You could even let them do a mosaic type for the point. Another option is laying their favorite color behind all the letters. When you're finished with that, it does have a more complete look, really helps the letters to stand out, pop out. You probably will need two coats of paint for this so let it dry in between. And you don't have to even wait for the glue to dry because you can mix glue and paint. That is a possibility. I 
I decided to cover the whole piece with the glitter decoupage just for fun. You don't have to do this either. I've done this project a lot and I don't always have the kids cover it. It seems to hold up well. It's a fun project and it's great for kids that are just learning how to spell their name. Enjoy. Use up those crayons that are all broken. There's a use for everything. Thanks. Bye.